The first voice is that of Margarete Petrowski, who had told the experimenter during her lifetime that she did not believe in an existence after death. After her passing, the experimenter asked her how she felt in the beyond, and a voice, identified as coming from Margarete, answered, Bedenke, ich bin. <laughs> German, imagine, I am. Again we hear Margarete Petrowski's voice, this time calling her former employer, Dr. Zenta Maurina. Zenta. Now the experimenter asks if Margarete can hear him, and the voice replies, Kostya, ja. German, Kostya, yes. The voice then calls the experimenter's family name, Raudive, but shortens it to Raudiv. And now we hear in Latvian and German, Koste, tu tik na. Koste, you are so near. Now the experimenter calls the Russian poet Vladimir Mayakovsky and the voice answers The experimenter tells the poet how difficult it is to convince people of the reality of the voice phenomenon and in reply comes a statement which is typical for Mayakovsky's personality Konstantin Pluy in Russian, Konstantin, spit on it. The experimenter talks to his former teacher, the Spanish philosopher Ortega y Gasset, and the voice calls out, Ortega. The experimenter asks whether the research into the voice phenomenon had any significance and whether it was based on firm foundations. The voice answers, Entrojas muchas cuestiones. Spanish. You will solve many questions. A Latvian voice then breaks in with a statement that could be interpreted in various ways. It might mean, for instance, that the voice phenomenon research may benefit mankind even if the process is a painful one. Tu laudes zadetzina. Latvian, you are burning people. The experimenter addresses his former collaborator, the Swiss parapsychologist Professor Gebhard Frey. Beset by doubts, the experimenter begs Professor Frey to give his name, and the voice answers, Frey. Frey. Then, in Swedish and German, Du sowas willst nicht glaube. You are sleeping. You do not want to believe. In another recording, the experimenter remarks that people do not believe in life after death. And the voice answers, So sind sie. German. That's how they are. The experimenter calls on Vitaut's Simane, a friend who had died a short time before the recording was made, and receives the following answer. Danke, gute morning. German and English. Thank you, good morning. <laughs> 